Um, I'm sorry, first of all, for not having posted for a million years. I'm in the process of moving and getting a new job and all sorts of stuff is happening to me, so I haven't even been able to read, let alone film videos. Um, second of all, I would like to apologize for this strange environment. I am sitting currently on my boyfriend's floor. Um, he's out at work, so it's just me in his room. Um, and the lighting is very strange, so I apologize for that. But I decided to film this video because of, first of all, I had to return the book to the library, so I wouldn't have it for much longer. Second of all, it was such an awesome book. So it's called Finding Wonders by Jeanette, Janine Atkins. And it, so first of all, I just was walking through the library, you know, as you do, and I saw this book on a display. I picked it up and I saw the words girl and I saw the words science and like fireworks went off in my brain because I am a huge feminist. I totally support um, the increase of girls and women in STEM fields and I think that a lot of really valuable things can come out of having girls in STEM fields. So I was really, really pumped. Um, and then I saw that it was a book of poetry and I love poetry. So I was like, is this even real? Like, did I just write a book in the future and then go back in time and publish it? Because this is exactly the kind of book that I would write. Anyway, so it's divided into three parts. It's all poetry, all free verse poetry, sort of diary format, almost. And they're not diary entries, but they outline thing. I was gonna say chronologicalize, but that's not a word. They outline the character's life um, throughout the stages of the life. So the first part focuses on a girl named Maria and her father is a painter set in 1647 I believe. So a long time ago and in this era girls were not allowed to have jobs or professions or anything really. They were just like, you know, not treated very well like not treated like human beings basically. So um, Maria helps her father, her father's a painter, she preps the canvases for him and whatnot and she is a very curious child when she's young and so she becomes interested in caterpillars and moths and whatnot. Um, it starts with just a few comments here and there about moths and then caterpillars and then she starts talking about how people think that caterpillars come from the mud and she eventually um, takes some caterpillars and hides them in this little attic house thing and feeds them and they grow and they grow and suddenly they turn into butterflies I mean not suddenly they turn into cocoons or whatnot you know, the life cycle of a caterpillar butterfly morphology. And um, so she discovers the life cycle of a caterpillar and how they go from being larva to being caterpillars to being pupa to being butterflies. And it's really incredible because then she does all these paintings of the caterpillar's life cycle and sells them and is really successful and people love her work. So it was a really beautiful marriage of art and science um, because she was very curious but also very creative. Um, something that I personally identify with quite a lot. So I was really, really stoked to read this first part. Um, the second part is about Mary Anning, I believe her name is, and it's set in, where is it set? Or when is it set, I should say about a century after, so the 1800s, 1700s. 1799 to 1847, that's Mary Anning. And she helped her father again with, um, so a running theme in this book is father-daughter relationships, which is also very awesome. Um, so that is very interesting to explore through the eyes of all these different Marias and Marys. They're all named Mary Maria whatever. Anyway, Mary Anning, her father collected fossils and 
I'd say her story was a bit less sciencey and more I don't know it was it was a lot of discoveries so she discovered a huge fossil and I feel like they maybe did not tie it all together super well in the end of these poems um it was more about her father went off and she was left to find fossils for herself and sell them so it was more of a feminist story rather than a science story which I still really appreciated the feminist aspect of this series of poems um, so that's part two part three was Maria what was her name oh gosh Maria her name was Maria another Maria Anyway, her dad was sort of an astronomer, stargazer type, map maker, that's it. Oh, and her name's pronounced Mariah, it even specifies here. Um, so her dad looked at the stars and made maps for sailors so that they could sail the seas more accurately and safely and whatnot. So she would always help her dad by going up on the roof with him and staring through telescopes at the stars and it was really awesome so this is set in 1831 and um she her dad ends up going off or whatever and she ends up doing all this stuff by herself with the telescope and it's really really an independent awesome story about how she just really articulated her craft really really nicely and she ends up discovering a comet that nobody else discovered and so it was really really a special story and I just really liked it the poetry was beautiful the it was all free verse the poetry was beautiful it really really exemplified how young girls have changed science and yeah maybe they're not mentioned as much in history but throughout history girls have made an impact on the field of science and on discoveries and whatnot so even though they don't get the credit they've still been in there um, and that's something I feel very passionately about so I was thrilled with this book I think it could be a really really good introduction for some girls to the fields of science and to normalizing the fact that girls and women are scientists and sort of breaking down the stigmas and breaking through glass ceilings and whatnot whatnot I just loved it so I give it obviously five out of five stars what book do I not give five out of five stars I I'm starting to question my rating system anyway I say go and read it it's amazing I loved it and yeah that is all for today and i hope you guys have a wonderful day um